Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? All right, so let's jump right in for Leo. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Leo regarding love and what's coming Leo's way in love spirit. The sun. Wow, that's so you. This is so you. <laughs> the sun. Um, this is a card all about new beginnings, um, good news. Actually, I want to look real quick to make sure I'm not missing. New beginnings, great creativity. Okay, so kind of similar to like the Fool, the Ace of Wands. Um, so something new. Okay, that's great. I want to take the Romance Angel next. What else for Leo? So what I'm getting here is um, spirit closing a door or perhaps this was something that spirit said was not necessarily for you. This could have been a past connection. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to, to keep this relationship going. Um, when I think of unrequited love, I think of the six of pentacles reverse. Someone's giving more than the other person. It's not very balanced. Someone's more interested, more committed than another person. And I think what religious factors here is almost like spirit is helping you with this or taking care of this for you. And this could have already been in the distant past. Um, but it could also be happening now. Spirit could be closing a door for you. For Leo, what can they expect in love? What can Leo expect in love? What can Leo expect in love? Okay, we have burning passion, un, uh, unexpected event, and looking inward. What's this? Paralyzing fear. Yeah. So a tower moment, unexpected event. Um, I feel like this, for a lot of you, I feel like this has already happened. Parting ways at the bottom of the deck, some sort of separation or heartbreak or difficulty in love. I feel like this is just, I feel like something's coming in for you because it's been so bad. <laughs> because of all of this energy that you maybe have been processing with looking inward. Some of you could be feeling a bit anxious like you're not sure where life is going to take you, not sure what you're meant to do or have in this life. I feel like some of you, maybe you've been in connections where it was really hot and heavy or the chemistry was crazy or, you know, it was just, it felt like it was going to be it. And, you know, maybe you gave yourself freely a little too early. Or perhaps you feel like you were taken advantage of. Because with burning passion and unexpected event, it's almost like something was hot and heavy and then a tower happened. And now you're left to reflect on that. And all you can feel is anxiety and fear. And I think a lot of you are fearful that you won't find love. Or that um, you won't be able to recreate what you had or something like that. But I don't think that's the case. Because the sun is here. So let's see what we can get with the tarot. Oops. Spirit, can we get some insight, please, for Leo regarding love and relationships? Why can't I shuffle? For Leo, what can Leo expect in love? What can Leo expect in love? Okay. Oops. Yeah, there's something going on. Hold on. What can Leo expect in love? I want to use this deck. Like, I don't feel like it's the deck. I feel like something else. What's going on, sir? What's going on for Leo? Okay. Okay, that feels better. Okay, let's see what we get for you. King of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Page of Swords reverse. So there's definitely has been some sort of ending for you. A cycle has closed. This could also be the person that you're dealing with. Um, I could be picking up on their energies. The Hermit reverse. 
Virgo energy, four of swords reverse, okay. Hmm, three of pentacles. So with the hermit reverse, page of swords reverse, four of swords reverse, and then the king of swords, I feel like there's a, um, a back and forth here that's happening. So I feel like the hermit reverse and the page of swords reverse, I'm getting someone that almost like escaped or avoided a, some sort of information or didn't want to face some sort of information. But the king of swords is here with the four of swords reverse, almost like, no, this is going to be something that is addressed or the truth will be important or the truth will be addressed. Something like that. I'll see when I clarify. Three of Pentacles, working together, collaborating, a group of three, could be more. This could be related to work or friendships or multiple people could be involved in here. I'm gonna have to check. What's at the bottom of the deck? Four of Pentacles, interesting. The Empress after that. See, I feel like there's somebody that was not open and this could have been you. Perhaps it was hard for you to see something or hard for you to realize something. Maybe you were holding on to something really tightly that you should have let go of or something like that. We'll see when we clarify. But I think, I don't think this was out of stubbornness. I think it was more, I don't know. It was almost like you retreated um, or hid or didn't want to address this face, you know, head on. Or this could be the person you're dealing with. Let me get some clarity, please. I keep, you know, I've been thinking about Virgo since I put down one of these cards up here. So I don't know if I've said Virgo. Uh, some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo. We'll see what that's all about. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let's start with, um, I wanna start with this Ten of Swords because I feel like this Ten of Swords and this unexpected event are kind of related. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Leo. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, Ace of Swords. The, yeah, there's some sort of information, clarity that I feel brought problems, Five of Wands, or was some something that someone had like an inner conflict with or brought about an ending. I feel like this is all related. Either a conversation or like I said, information, clarity. This could have been something online. Why the Page of Swords reverse? I wanna put it with the Hermit reverse. So I feel like these two go together. Why is the Page of Swords reverse with the Hermit reverse? Why is the Page of Swords reverse with the Hermit reverse? Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like maybe it was just too much for someone. And rather than like address it, or maybe someone didn't want to deal with the aftermath of the truth. So for example, the Ace of Swords. Someone knows about this Ace of Swords, but addressing it is too much. Maybe they didn't have it in them or at the time, or perhaps it was just one more thing for them to be concerned about or worried about. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse and the Hermit reverse. Why is the Page of Swords reverse and the Hermit reverse? The Magician and the Three of Wands. Yeah, I, I think someone eventually did do something about this though. Maybe it just took them a little bit of time to figure out what they were gonna do next. Three of Wands, Page of Wands. This is literally someone like, what What can I do next? Waiting for the opportunity to take action, initiative, plan something new. So I think that, you know, if this was you, Leo, I wanted to say Virgo again. If this was you, Leo, with the Page of Swords reverse and the Hermit reverse, where it's just like you kind of retreated, cut. this could have even been you, um, cutting off people, not talking to certain people, shutting yourself away, you know, or perhaps you just didn't want to um, look at the truth, you know, for whatever reason. If this was you, I think eventually you snapped out of that. Um, if this is the person that you're dealing with, they're snapping out of that too. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Four of Swords reverse. 
I think this King of Swords is something that's like, it's like, okay, let's take care of this. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Ace of, not the Ace, what am I saying? The King of Swords and the Four of Swords Reverse. Four of Swords Reverse is someone like waking up. Uh, no longer reflecting, no longer healing, no longer resting. Um, they're ready to move on now. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Four of Swords Reverse. Four of Cups. Mm. Ten of Swords. Again, the Ten of Swords shows up. And the Lovers. So I'm getting that there's there was a, an important conversation that ended everything. There could have even been a third party here. The Three of Pentacles, uh, three of Pentacles is here and Three of Cups. Uh, Gemini energy with the lovers. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. I think there is somebody like using a blower or something outside. I think that's probably where this unrequited love it came out here. I, I think this was probably a situation where you and this other person were not on the same page. Either you both didn't want to fix this together or one person had an idea of what handling a problem was like and the other person was like that's not how it's gonna basically you weren't both on the same page about making things work that's gonna be different for all of you what's going on with this three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles here why is the three of pentacles here six of wands why is the three of pentacles here you, you might have gotten help, assistance, worked with someone, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. This could be a job offer. Some of you could have gotten a job offer and that was like you're out. Um, or something came in that is like, okay, this could be somebody that I could actually work with. Maybe this is new love for some of you. The Ace of Cups, uh, Knight of Cups is here. There's an uh, Four of Pentacles again. Maybe it took you some time to accept this. Yeah, you weren't sure what to do to have pentacles. You weren't sure if you should accept this offer. You had doubts about this offer. I think for a lot of you, this is a job offer. I wonder too, if this is someone apologizing for what happened and wanting to get back together with you. Um, but I just don't think that's where this reading is really going based on the cards that I have here so far. Tell me about the um, Eight of Pentacles. I just pick up some, I, I pick up you doing something new. So I don't understand why the past would be here. There's the Hermit. Virgo energy with the Nine of Swords. So thinking about something a lot, there's that paralyzing fear. What is this about? Why is the Nine of Swords here with the Hermit? Why is the Nine of Swords here with the Hermit? Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Empress in Judgment. Okay, so, you know, this is weird. I won't lie because... It's almost like someone's worried about long-term success, long-term stability, and whether they're gonna have that or not. So I guess I'll say some of you, cause I'm about to jump into this person's energy, so I don't know yet. But some of you could be dealing with someone who wants to fix this after it's over. Um, but you're concerned because you don't think that it could change or improve based off of your history with this person. So it doesn't really matter how much effort they're gonna put in that might not last or their effort is just to get you back but not really to fix the problem at hand or something like that. Others of you, I feel like you're meeting someone new, possibly um, if this isn't someone new as a job offer, uh, regardless what it is, this is something new. And when it comes in, you can't help but overthink about it. It's like you can't help but overthink and worry and stress and feel like, you know, this could be my chance but what if i screw it up again or what if it doesn't go anywhere again something like that so let's jump into this person actually i'm going to clear the board 
let's find out a little bit more about this person that you are dealing with or you might be dealing with hopefully the blower is not too annoying for leo can we get some insight please i think they're gonna come right next to my window too <laughs> Can we get some insight, please, about the person they are dealing with, connecting with? What do we need to know about this other person that Leo is dealing with, connecting with? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know for Leo? The Tower Reverse. Eight of Swords. What do we need to know about this other person? The Lovers Reverse. Okay, so this person I feel is the person that you possibly had a disconnect with. Why is the Tower Reverse? Ace of Cups. Why is the Tower reverse? Yeah, no wonder you're overthinking the Magician reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this is someone you're um this this for the leos that i'm speaking to the person from the past they their words their communication the way they talk to you it puts your mind in knots it's almost like it confuses you or it puts you in this state of like not knowing what to do i don't love this energy yeah temperance reverse and the ace of pentacles reverse i just don't love this energy here I feel like someone that says what they need to say, you know, in order to avoid a problem. Tell me about the lovers reverse. Why is the lovers reverse? Yeah, because they have a goal in mind. They want this. They want to fix things or they want to address what happened. However, I, I still am picking up that there's... There's something new coming in for you. Yeah, there's the judgment card. It's like it's like you realize something about this this situation. So if this person comes back, I feel like your intuition or spirit or just what you already know, the information that you have at hand, right? The history you have with this person. I feel you kind of realizing that this might just be the wrong thing for you or maybe you need to go down a different path what's next for leo what's next for leo just curious what's next what's next for leo spirit there's all of this headed. Mm, yeah the moon reverse exactly nine of wands yep so what i'm seeing here leo yep yep seven of swords and the fool exactly okay <laughs> so i just picked those randomly y you know you don't trust the past because of what's happened. So if this is someone from the past coming forward, you don't trust them. You already caught them in something or you realize that they're not who they say they are or that this was an illusion, right? So you're already kind of aware. Um, and then the Seven of Swords is here telling me that this was somebody that didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. And I feel like you're at this, you're this Queen of Cups now ready for something new with the fool it's almost like i, I want to be free of this i don't want to deal with this anymore it's kind of the energy i'm picking up here for you um i feel like you don't want to fight anymore you don't want things to be difficult anymore with this five of swords reverse 
some of you this person could have chosen someone else over you or must have could have been unfaithful or stepped out in the connection and i think it just ruined things yeah i feel like um this is a secret or something that happened with a third party or some some sort of situation where something came out because i feel like a lot of you don't want to go back i mean why go back when when you really look deep down and think about it and it's like it's like you you think about this person or this situation and there's no like i'm picturing someone that has no hope for the future they have no hope for the future because there's no there's no indication that there could be a change in the situation so there's no hope for this person i almost feel like if this person were to come forward to to talk to you to address you even if they come forward to apologize it's like while they're apologizing or talking to you your mind is going wow this is kind of the same old same old and it's almost like maybe spirit is helping you completely have closure and helping you see that this isn't for you what can what do we need to know about this other person okay we have the lizard what do we need to know about this other person the cobra okay so i feel like this is somebody that possibly you haven't talked to in a while we have the fire ant at the bottom of the deck um, they've been with the Cobra, they've been watching, um, and keeping tabs on you. I feel like they, they're possibly, possibly going to talk to you and tell you that they've changed or the circumstances have changed or, you know, it's not what you think or something like that. But I think you already have made up your mind here. This Queen of Cups is very intuitive and it's all they're thinking about is my gut is telling me to be free. You know, my gut is telling me to have a new beginning, to take a risk, a leap of faith. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.